Less supply means higher prices, sort of. I'm David Stark and welcome to the East Bay Real Estate Weather Report. A big drop in the number of homes for sale across the East Bay had a limited impact on sales prices. Check this out. For the entire East Bay, inventory was down 20% compared with last October, but sales prices only increased on average 2%. This says both buyers and sellers are still trying to figure out a changing real estate market. Let's get local, starting with the communities along the 880 corridor. Homes for sale. Take Berkeley out of the mix and there were fewer homes for sale everywhere along 880. Alameda down 44%, Fremont 19%, Hayward 37 Oakland 9 San Leandro, San Lorenzo, and Union City all down more than 50%. Sales prices were not in lockstep with less supply. Yes, prices up in Alameda, Albany, Castro Valley, but Fremont drops 3%, Newark down 7%, Oakland basically unchanged, San Leandro down 3%, Union City down 11%. Sales activity also mixed. Homes sold basically unchanged in Alameda, Albany, Berkeley, Castro Valley up 27%, Fremont down 4 Hayward down 19%, but Newark up 23%, and Union City up 36%. All right, now let's move over to West Contra Costa County. Homes for sale, way down. El Cerrito drops almost 25%. El Sobrante down 54%. Pinole 32, Richmond 28. On sales prices, more disconnect. El Cerrito up just 2%. El Sobrante down 23%, but Pinole up 14%, and Richmond basically flat. Homes sold were all over the place. El Cerrito up almost 80%. Hercules down a bit, Pinole up more than 30%, San Pablo down by two units. We're going to go next door to central Contra Costa County. Homes for sale, again, big drops. Clayton down 38%, Martinez more than 40%, Pleasant Hill 35%, Walnut Creek down more than 20 Sales prices, it's supply and demand. Prices up everywhere. Clayton up 10%, Concord 6%, Martinez 5%, Pleasant Hill up 12%, and Walnut Creek up 9 Homes sold. As in other areas, big differences. Clayton, a 100% increase, but Concord down 8%. Martinez up almost 40%, yet Pleasant Hill down 14 Wild. The three communities in La Mirinda always seem to stand out from current trends. Homes for sale, great example. More inventory everywhere. Arinda up almost 50%. Sales prices are also unique. More homes on the market brought down prices in Lafayette and Marinda. Moraga, the exception with prices up 6%. Homes sold was also a bit wacky. Lafayette gained a single unit, but sales down in Moraga and Marinda. Let's look at what's up in the Tri-Valley. Homes for sale, mixed. Danville, Dublin, Livermore, all down more than 20%. Pleasant up 5% and San Ramon up more than 25%. Sales prices, fairly stable. Alamo dips 4% while Danville, Dublin, and Livermore all up in the low single digits. Pleasanton down 7% and San Ramon down 10%. Sales activity in the Tri-Valley was strong. Alamo up more than 40%, Danville more than 20 Dublin did drop 12%, Livermore, Pleasanton, San Ramon 20 30 and 31% up. We'll wrap things up in the Delta. Homes for sale, mixed. Antioch drops more than 30%, Brentwood basically unchanged, and Pittsburgh down almost 40%. Sales prices, supply and demand, mostly. Antioch and Brentwood both up 5%. Even with that big drop in homes for sale, Pittsburgh only up 1%. Homes sold, Antioch a slight drop, Brentwood up a big 37%, Pittsburgh down almost 20%. One last thought. While sales prices have dropped or stabilized in some communities, it's not quite accurate to describe these conditions as a buyer's market. That said, with homes on the market an average of 32 days, up from 28 days last October, buyers are certainly taking their time. We'll see you next month.